right, but as far as this goes, there really was no other option. Matthew 24, 34. Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. And it is a great honor to serve my country and the Queen. When I lost my mum 23 years ago, you took me under your wing. You looked out for me for so long, but the media is a powerful force. Matthew 24, 6, 7. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all of these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there will be famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. My hope is one day our collective support for each other can be more powerful. Because this is so much bigger than just us. This is so much bigger than just us. This is so much Luke chapter 21 verses 25 26 and there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars and on the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken now many of these verses and scriptures throughout the Bible have prophesied these times that we are living in right now. And as well scientists have simulated the times that we are living in right now. There are many researchers, astronomers, scientists around the world who understand what is happening to our planet. And across the world, we're seeing these roaring waves, rumors of wars, signs in the sun and in the moon, signs all around us. Electric currents increasing, cosmic rays increasing, magnetic field drastically changing. Our sun going to sleep, quite possibly dipping Earth into a mini ice age. No matter what is going on in this world, we are one. We are all human. We need to separate ourselves from being white, black, Chinese, Indian. We are all humans. And we are all living on this one tiny planet where this giant sun produces and destroys all life around it. Everybody has a right to their own belief in this world, but unfortunately religions have separated us more than anything. We are human. We were all born on Earth. So I was born in Toronto, Earth. My father was born in Montreal, Earth. My son was born in Calgary, Earth. Where were you born? We were all born on Earth. We were all born in the same place. We all have to deal with all of these calamities from around the world, distress among nations, and a lot of that, a lot of that has to do with education. We are truly living in some freaky times but we need to come together now more than ever as humans, as a family, whites, blacks, Indians, Chinese, Koreans, whatever they are. And our governments want to do the same in the future. We know this. They're already collecting data of every single person who was on the internet. It's all being collected and stored 
Why? So they can give you a social credit score. That's right, in the future, we'll all be walking around with these pretty much digital social credit scores for everyone to see. They're pushing towards a one-world government, a one-monetary system, a one-religion. As all of these events are happening and unfolding across the planet, especially in the Northern Hemisphere. With more records being set across Europe and across the United States, extra tropical storms affecting the United Kingdom, truly seeing some rare events across the Northern Hemisphere. And we're also seeing, like, why is nobody talking about what Africa? Dozens killed today in a church attack in Burkina Faso, Africa, as ISIL apparently is still around. Hundreds have been killed. Tens of thousands have had to flee. This is not necessary. Region appears to be getting worse. At a meeting on Monday, the UN Security Council expressed alarm over the recent increase in violence and called on governments to provide more help. There are already thousands of French, UN and African troops in the region. Yet despite this, the Sahel's vast area that runs between five countries has seen a sharp rise in attacks by ISIL and Al-Qaeda-linked armed groups. Hundreds of people have been killed and many more forced to seek safety in camps. Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger have suffered some of the worst attacks against their militaries, including one last week that killed 71 soldiers from Niger. Regional leaders have also held meetings this week appealing for greater international help. But will that be enough? We'll bring in our guests in just a moment, but first this report from Ahmed Idris in Bamako, Mali. These are desperate times for Africa's Sahel region. Armed groups are inflicting heavy losses to armies and forcing thousands of civilians from their homes. Leaders of the countries affected known as G5 scrambled this meeting in Niamey to urgently find a solution. Host President Mohamed Yusufu says the frequency and sophistication of recent attacks is worrisome. The scale of terrorist attacks are getting larger day after day. Terrorists are getting more sophisticated weapons. The terrorists have been real war professionals. They progress every day on the strategic, operative and tactical levels. The G5 chairman appealed for a new strategy to face the growing threat. We must work together to ensure victory against terrorism in the short, middle and long term. As the case in other countries fighting terrorism, we need allies, an alliance characterized with responsibility, cooperation and respect for each other. At the end of the meeting, and then we have the leaders resolved to work together to, worry about. to fight the armed group. From Ebola, cancer, and of course the coronavirus, COVID-19, which has now infected 71,000 people and is thought to have infected millions. But we're not getting the full story, which is unbelievable. We have a world wide web and we can't even share very important information when it comes to this global pandemic. Now, mind you, the 1700 that have passed are from Wuhan. And the dramatic spike was only because of the amount of numbered people that were able to be tested. Because in the beginning, they couldn't test everybody right away. So the numbers were going to, we were waiting for this jump. Not only that, we have magnetosphere problems going on. We have our North Pole gravitating towards Russia. This is our magnetospheric model. Now, this is not supposed to be there. This is what our magnetosphere should look like. Blue on both sides. So something is affecting our solar system. Something is affecting every planet in our solar system. And it's our sun. Our sun has gone to sleep, possibly for a very long time. 
and it's affecting all the planets in our solar system. So please, just live and love and be grateful for every day. Another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. This is Mike from Morning Dew, and I love you. And I truly do have a love for humanity. But space weather effects affect our planet more than we know it. And we're still learning. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Mercury rising. Mercury retrograde coming up. Now, something I wanted to show here. Normally, around our planet, we have about 20 to 25 erupting volcanoes. And right now there are 21. But there are 45 volcanoes that are actively erupting and warning. So yes, earthquakes have increased, volcanic activity has increased, extreme weather has increased. There is definitely something going on. We need to come together now as a collective, as humans. Love each other, share our knowledge with all of humanity. Thank you so much for watching today. God bless you. God bless humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. Get your morning due. Bye-bye.